specific heat of enharmonic oscillators. Consider a one-dimensional oscillator, not simple harmonic, which is described by a position coordinate x and by a momentum p whose energy is given by p squared over 2m plus b x to the 4. x to the 4. Where the first term on the right is its kinetic energy and the second term is its potential energy. Here m denotes the mass of the oscillator and b is some constant. Suppose that this oscillator is in thermal equilibrium with a heat reservoir at a temperature t high enough so that the approximation of classical mechanics is a good one. What is the mean kinetic energy of this oscillator? Okay, so for the mean kinetic energy uh, in part A, we have epsilon uh, k kinetic energy average value is the average value of p squared over 2m because it's mentioned that this is the mean uh, kinetic energy now when i say p squared since this is a one-dimensional oscillator it is px squared divided by 2m because there is only the x component and this must be equal to half a kt by equipartition theorem we only have one quadratic uh, term in the energy independent term in the energy so that gives me 1 over 2 kt for the mean kinetic energy what is its mean potential energy well that's the bx to the 4 part so that's the interesting part. So let's take a look at that. Um, as for the mean potential energy, I would normally find the mean potential energy by integrating the potential energy uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity, double integral, bx to the 4, e to the minus uh, beta epsilon which is a function of p and x and dx dp and then at the bottom I would have integral from minus infinity to plus infinity exponential minus beta epsilon as a function of p and x dx dp but I know from the uh, derivation of the equipartition theorem that the momentum and x components can be written separately so this can be written as uh, the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity bx to the 4 e to the minus beta bx to the 4 dx uh, because this multiplied with the minus infinity to plus infinity blah blah the momentum uh, integral uh, and at the bottom I will have the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus beta bx to the 4 dx and the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity the momentum integral because the momentum integrals will cancel uh, this is going to be equal to the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity bx to the 4 e to the minus beta bx to the 4 dx which is uh, divided by minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus beta bx to the 4 dx and I'm going to call the uh, partition function that is in the denominator as the x partition function so this is zx so this partition function zx is defined as the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus beta bx to the 4 dx if that's the case then the mean value of the uh, potential energy will be minus uh, del ln z del beta as we have shown uh, many times 
So this is the partition function x with respect to beta. This is going to give me its mean value. So I need to take a look at this partition function. So let's have a transformation of variables. Let's define y is beta b x to the power 4 so that dy is 4 beta b x cube dx and uh, what is x here so from this definition uh, x is y to the power 1 over 4 beta times b to the power minus 1 over 4 so I can substitute that uh, into this equation in order to get uh, dy in terms of dx. So this is going to give me uh, a dx that is dy divided by uh, 4 beta b. So let me write this also as 1 over 4 dy uh, divided by beta b, basically it's beta b to the power uh, minus 1. So dy divided by 4 beta b, uh, and, and then I have x cube, which is uh, y to the power 3 over 4, and beta b to the power minus 3 over 4. So that will be the x cube part. So I can find that uh, dx will be given by y to the power So let's see here, x was y to the power 1 over 4. So for x cube I substituted, so it, it will be also y to the power minus 3 over 4 here, right? So because uh, when I take x cube to the left hand side, it will be dy divided by x cube. So it will be y to the minus 3 over 4, beta b to the power minus uh, 3 over 4. Uh, so let's let's do this slowly. Okay, so dx is dy uh, divided by 4 beta b to the power minus 1 x to the power minus 3. So that will be y to the minus 3 over 4 beta to, to the power beta b to the power plus 3 over 4. Okay, now I think it's correct. So this will be uh, 1 over 4 y to the power minus 3 over 4 beta b to the power minus 1 plus 3 over 4 is minus 1 over 4 and then we have dy so this should be dx okay so if i substitute this here uh, i will find that my partition function zx will be equal to uh, for dx, I substitute this, so I have 1 over 4 beta b to the power minus 1 over 4, integral from minus infinity to plus infinity. Uh, I have also y to the power minus uh, 3 over 4, e to the minus y dy. So this integral, this part, is going to give me a, a number. So this is going to give me a number. Let's say this is going to be a constant value here. So when I look at a natural logarithm of z, I will find that I have a natural logarithm of 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 natural logarithm of beta times b and then this constant uh, let me call it c, I will have the natural logarithm of c. Uh, and then, uh, natural logarithm of uh, z can be written as 
natural logarithm of 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 natural logarithm of beta minus 1 over 4 natural logarithm of b plus natural logarithm of z. So I'm now ready to look at uh, the derivative minus del ln z x del beta. That would be equal to 1 over 4 beta, which is kt divided by 4. So I find that the mean value of the potential energy should be kt divided by 4. Part C, what is the mean total energy? Well, I just have to uh, add up these two mean energies. The mean, total mean energy is the kinetic part plus the potential part. The kinetic part was kT over 2. The potential part is kT over 4. Therefore, I find that the mean, total mean energy should be 3 kT divided by 4. And part D of the problem. Consider an assembly of weakly interacting particles, each vibrating in one dimension, so, so that its energy is given by this uh, expression. What is the specific heat at constant volume per mole of these particles? So if I have n of those, the total energy will be n times epsilon bar, which will be 3 over 4 capital N kT. And for one mole, one mole of these, uh, the number of particles is Avogadro's number. So the mean energy would be 3 over 4 N A kT, which is 3 over 4 RT. Then I can calculate the molar specific heat. It is the derivative E bar with respect to temperature at constant volume. It is 3 over 4 R. Okay, so we have an enharmonic oscillator. It has a quadratic term which whose mean energy is half a kt by p partition theorem and then it has a term which depends on x to the fourth power for that one in order to calculate the mean energy contribution i had to use the canonical distribution and the uh, the way to calculate the mean value of a parameter is by multiplying it with its probability integrate over all possible values and this is divided by the partition function, which comes from the normalization of the canonical distribution. And uh, that gives me, I find that the momentum integrals cancel. Uh, and I can talk about a simplified partition function, which is the x partition function. And when I uh, do a transformation of variables to y and calculate natural log of zx and take a derivative with respect to beta and with the minus sign, I get the average value to be kT over 4. If I add up these two contributions, I get 3 kT over 4 per particle. For n particles, it is 3 over 4 n kT. For one mole, it's 3 over 4 RT. And molar specific heat, that is the heat capacity of one mole, is 3 over 4 R.